That's fine. So now you guys get to hear the part where I normally tell shit to my stream. Because you're not pushed to talk. I know. You must be Warlord Brinka, Soldier's mother. She always said you'd we save our We're not safe safe just yet. Where are the others? The Eternal Sun no guides idea. us. But I got a way to find out. You need All it, right. I got it. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Hi, I'm Big John TW, and this right here, this is my stream. Let's go. Make it sleazy. This here's a Make it sleazy. Choppy booster mark five. Just I'm let me enlarge it. Oh, wait, buddy. I'm I've overdone sleazy. it a bit. Hold on. Can I get buddy for <laughs> Perfect. It ain't pretty, but it gets the job done. Can you hear me, recruit? I was supposed to like destroy these people. Maybe that's next time. We will take your soul and raise the dragon from the dead. Coward! Soon you will face the full might of the horde! Ha! Our dragon will crush them. Ooh, they have that sour have cherry and that strawberry rhubarb pie. Those. Seen. Those are freaking to die for. Have you ever had sour cherry pie? Quest complete. A sour cherry pie. I never heard that before. They take these tart, tart. Oh, you want to like? They're just sour cherries, and then they put them in, just like a, as if they were a um, regular cherry or a sweet cherry. They put them in the gel, so you get those tart, tart cherries, and then you have that sweet gel around them. Oh my god, it's such go. a good pie. It's Very like, fun. it's like, um, if you, you were can. to, and no place I'm has them, more. it's one of those things you've actually got to make. It's called a vinegar pie. Wow. Uh... What are you feeling? Oh that God. doesn't even sound good. Surprisingly, that's what I thought when I first saw it, too. Um, but it uses apple cider vinegar and eggs and um, basically like a custard made from those. But it's very sweet because it's apple cider vinegar. It's actually kind of like a lemony custardy flavor sounds it's, great yeah it's Make not something that it's not something you, you'll find out there because people automatically go vinegar pie that's disgusting mm. but in new england for a long time it was a staple because you always had vinegar you always had eggs uh, very easy to make pie that ain't right. great mm, i i don't feel good yeah. Here, try it now all I want to do is sleep. God, I can't. I have no energy. I can't get off the couch. This is your first round of COVID, isn't it? Who needs a giant first one. Yep. When we can do that. Uh, Try sorry. Again. Yeah, COVID I sucks. Give any tips. I was going to say, I can't give any tips or tricks. Anybody out there that's had COVID you're able to? Yeah. It, it'll only last for so long. There's, there's really nothing you can do. You're aboredly tired. The best thing for you to do is probably to sleep um, and to monitor your oxygen. Because one of the things that you'll that's historic with it is uh, running out of breath. Okay. And, and if you can, there's some medication that if you get it within the five days, it, cut, it cuts the uh, side effects down and stuff. It's about Zycan. 
Mm-mm. No, that's the flu. It won't work. Oh. Are you talking about? Yeah, you can, you, for you for COVID, it's a lot more expensive. I yeah, it's something that you can get in an emergency room or walking care, but it's not something that you can just go to the pharmacy and say, "Hey, shoot me up here." It's, it's ivermectin, I believe. No. no, that's not ivermectin. Ivermectin is uh, a horse dewormer. Yay! Uh, no more worms. You don't want that. It will give you the screaming shits. Nice. And that is not going to help you out with a respiratory disease. Or, or being dehydrated. Well, I mean, if yeah, if dehydration helps you out, then yeah, you'll be fine. It'll be great. But yeah, the guys playing WoW. Yes. Yeah. Europe. I mean, my lap, my laptop is literally like four Mother. feet away, and it seems like a mile away. That's, that's yes. Um, the first time I caught COVID, I can remember trying to walk from my bedroom to the bathroom, which is about twenty steps, and I had to stop halfway and lay down on the floor in the fetal position because I couldn't breathe. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. I just yeah, I just got no energy. I can breathe. I just can't, got no energy. Just like, damn. Well, the Sweaty. problem is, it it's not like something sitting on your chest. The fact is that your lungs, your lungs feel normal. They expand and contract. It's just you're not get you're tired because you don't get any the blood. The air doesn't get into your bloodstream. That's yeah. the problem. It, it's not like you feel like a heavy weight on your chest. You feel like you're choking. No. It's just you are so sluggish because your your lungs aren't working properly. Well, I guess I'm gonna die. Well, actually, um, COVID right now is is much safer because it's it's more m manageable on before in the early stages. Can we not discuss it? Because you know, even though it's debatable on whether or not I've had COVID, because I've never tested positive anywhere, but. If you're asymptomatic, you can um, have COVID and not oh, need oh, trust to test me. because you don't have any symptoms. Oh, trust me. If you're symptomatic, you will know it. But so far at this time, I have not had a positive COVID test. You, ne you never felt this bad. Like, this sluggish, just tired. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I did feel that bad, but it was... Six over six months before the first confirmed case, it was in the two thousand the um, January February two thousand eighteen flu season when both type A and B were extremely deadly, and I had both A and B at the time. My strength was not enough. Yeah, I I came very close. Um, it was when I first started at Wayfair, and I had to drag my ass to work because I felt I was just, they, I couldn't miss any days because of their attendance policy. And there were other people that were also in the same condition who dragged their butts to work. And one woman died at work because her she was an organ failure and she couldn't take the time off from the training program to go to the emergency room to be seen. She felt that bad. She came to work because otherwise she would have been fired. And that's when Wayfair changed their attendance. Came to work. You're talking about logging in at a home correct? No, I meant she went into the office. She died in the office um, two rows over from where I was working that day. She died in the Wayfair office, just outside the Bangor International Airport. Bangor, Stephen King. Yeah, if you ever want to look up something really kind of, that'll kind of spook you a little bit, look up long haul COVID. Um, I believe I'm just now getting over my COVID from January. Really? Like, that, yeah. Like, that long? Yeah. Like my um, my heart finally came under control, and is now now I'm waking up like I don't have any um, 
high blood pressure at all. Although for before I started taking medicine, my blood pressure was 200 and something over like 140, 150, which is right next to you should stroke out. Um, and that was on a little bit of uh, of a heart medicine. Now I'm to the point where I'm waking up and I'm like 138 over 84, which is nothing now these and now what's what i was gonna say is what's funny is um all these symptoms that people talk about are all symptoms that i took the time that were really really bad when i had that flu so that's the only time i remember being sick but that was prior to the pandemic well my daughter says she had the flu back in like october 2019 it may, may, may have been COVID instead of the um, flu. Yeah, COVID. COVID normally, uh, normally the problem with COVID is that it's it's a. Um, it takes whatever you're already having, you might have a slight issue with, and will turn it uh, very much against you. Like my, I, I had. I had a slight blood pressure problem. Like I would be 140, 150 over 95. But after COVID, I was uh, almost 230, 240 over 130 to 150. Oh gosh. Wow, that was high. Yeah. And it literally took them, I think three or four months to get my blood pressure to go back down. And now it's gone back down to where theoretically they're now called, well, there's no theoretically to it. Last week I got a phone call because I'm on a uh, home, tele home telehealth, which means every morning I wake up and take my blood pressure and it sends it to the VA and a nurse monitors my blood pressure and my weight every day. Um, I got a phone call asking me if I was having problems the week before, because four out of the seven days, I woke up with a blood pressure that was completely normal. Like 100% completely normal, just out of the blue. And they were having problems controlling my, uh, controlling it completely. So they should probably be considering whether or not to um, end your blood pressure medications and do a trial run of that. That's what she did she put it well she can't do it because she's a nurse so she actually put it into the doctor to uh to see about um making the uh making my medicine as needed and the last i heard she had said that they were going to uh talk about it on the 17th I'm about 17. Stay away from the voodoo. Apparently, I've got a doctor's appointment on the 17th that I didn't know about. Isn't that nice yeah. the way they do that? Put an end to these rituals. Yeah. Well, I mean, but the VA, the VA is rather cool because it's like when, when I started home telehealth, I was getting medicine in the mail because I didn't need to go in for the doctor to prescribe me medicine. I didn't need to sign for something. I didn't need an office visit for him to up my medication. Instead, what I got was I got a telephone call telling me to take more medicine or that medicine was on its way. And when I take it, it'll have instructions. We will save the expedition. surely had to evade. And I, will, I can tell you, I will choose that. You stealth to do the same. Do what? So your doctors were like Facebook. Yeah, they were like calling it in. Oh. oh, you happen to mention this, this, and this. So yeah, we should do that. Let's see if we can find one of those rituals. Oh, my problem is though, I never knew anything about it. Like they were looking at my uh, results from being from taking my blood pressure twice a day, and they were like, "Okay, well, this is what you need to do because I don't like these results." I will join Bo farther north, where the harpies roost. Meet me there. Yeah, and I didn't get a choice in it. I, I can remember just medicine coming in the mail. Hmm, that's interesting. 
And that's because the doctor forgot to schedule a phone call. But I mean, it comes with instructions, so it's not like it's not like you have to be a rocket scientist. <laughs> Read the bottle. So, welcome to the party. I'd like to say, from the nurse's standpoint, that is the most idiotic thing that you can ever do. I wonder if you're the only hope those what? survivors have left. No is just blindly take a sure thing of medication because you would ritual. not believe how many times that it's not caught, that it's incorrect. And by incorrect, I don't mean that it's not the correct medicine or anything like that. It's the fact that sometimes when the doctors get a little rush, they have a tendency to put things in that are close to what they think they are. <sighs> And they rely on the nurse and the pharmacist to catch it. So if you're just blindly taking medication with no questions asked from your doctor as to why you need to take this, why is this dosage this, or anything like that, um, you could actually wind up on the wrong medication and screen yourself up. Oh my god, I did something like, bad today. Like, Laparamide and Lamotrigin. They're very close, very similar in name. One's um, an anti-psychotic or antidepressant type medication used for bipolar disorder. And similar, the other is an allergy pill. I do take a medication too. But what I'm saying is, is if you are to all of a sudden get a medication in the mail, just because it's got instructions on it and warnings doesn't mean you absolutely know what it's for. Because sometimes medications are used for alternate uses. Things that they don't normally say on the thing. So you might get a medication for um, depression that's actually for sleeping. But the doctor prescribed it for depression, so now this medication that highly sedates, you're taking it three times a day because they thought it was something else. So now, yeah, the medication will help you, but it's only going to help you for that, you know, 15 minutes every eight hours that you're awake. So I'm not an LPN or anything like that. When I started those classes, one of the first things that the nurse uh, that was teaching our classes said was that doctors go to school for eight years to learn um, to this medicine. And they and the nurse actually put her fingers yes. up in quotes and she said, practice. She said, nurses need to go to school. You have to learn how to catch their mistakes in two to four years. So that's why I always tell people to say they just blindly take the medication that the doctor gives them or sends them. It's the worst thing you can do because doctors are relying on nurses to catch their mistakes and nurses are so overworked, you, you know, that we miss it and rely on the pharmacist to pick up the error. Right now, I'm looking at some juice in a shopping bag across from me, and I can't even get it. What? Yeah. Get Basically, it. he's so tired that he can't. He, it's too much. It takes too much energy to uh, move across the room to get a shopping bag. Welcome to COVID. That's that is a telltale sign. Sorry, my guy. It fucking sucks. 
this. Song. That's why I. That's why I question if what I had that time before COVID was all the rampage. If we should put it that way, six months before the first confirmed cases, I was literally so sick with the way everybody talks about what they had with have with COVID. I mean, it was all I could do to get through my day at work and get home and literally lay down and sleep until I had to go. I didn't even eat because I knew it was going to take that much out of me to sit in a chair at work the next day. Um, yeah. COVID will have you curled up in a ball on the floor. Just because you just, you don't have, you lack the energy, like you're trying. Just, no. It, it doesn't work. Been, <laughs> I was just saying, I've never been to that point of exhaustion. Oh boy, get COVID. For most people, that's COVID. Now, keep in mind, there are some people that are asymptomatic, and for everybody, for our, some people, COVID's different. Um, so some people don't have the, the tired the random tired i had the random tired i, I can i can 100 well, percent vouch for that i know for me personally since february of last year i will bear us to safety hop on no since november of since right after i got back from st louis so november of 2019 i haven't gone a week without a COVID test. So if I had COVID, it was prior to um, November of 2019. Dark magic has brought ruin to this place. Okay. Um, someone's sitting up and I'm getting, trying to get my glasses. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, good. I remember when I had COVID, I thought I was going to stream. Made it all the way to oh, my I desk. And I laid my head down and I just, I couldn't do it. Well, no, there was, there was another night I tried. I just, I made it to my desk and that's as far as I got. Like I laid my head down. I was still in West Virginia then. problem with spiders, mm -hmm. I was still in West Virginia working on a COVID unit. It was me and one other person out of 50 some odd employees that did not get COVID. But those girls hey, there, they were trying. I don't know why anybody would try to get it. But to me, that is... Mm. I mean, it it sounds like all fun and games until you actually get it, and then then it's it's it, whoa. Oh yeah, I get a two week vacation. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I feel like you should go to the hospital and get put on a respirator. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I am like... It says I'm at 100% of XP. I am... Um, really seriously, I'm like 200 XP away from level. I just need to find something to gather. Oh, like I said, today I did something very, very, very bad. What'd you do? Um, I ordered some gold, and like, I'm waiting for the dealer. To, to like send me gold. How much gold did you order? Um, like two, like two hundred k. It, it was for it. Um, I paid. Um, I paid. Um, uh, twenty bucks for it. How much? Twenty. Okay, I was gonna say because I know that uh, the tokens are selling for about two hundred and eighteen, two hundred nineteen thousand. So I just hit level 60. Nice. There was this herb out here. There was this herb out here. Okay. 
I never made it to the final zone, questing zone before I uh, hit level 16. I still did, like, I, like, I still did, like, all the quests. Like, after I hit 60, we we're, were like my monk. Oh, I know, but now she can sit here and be parked until, you know, dragon flight comes out because now she's level 60. So, now that I have my third level 60, they what are we going to do tonight, Brain? The, prisoner for their the same thing we do every night. Charge to take over the world. What are we going to try to take over the world on? Well, like I said, I have a level 10, um, a level 10 mage and a Maintain level 8 your um, demon hunter. I will do whatever it takes. Okay, because I got a level 50 Demon Hunter, a level 50 Death Knight, a level 50 Warlock, a level 50 Monk, a level 50 Demon Hunter, a level 50 Druid, a level 50 Druid, a level 50 Warrior. And then we go down into the level 47s. I have almost a whole page of 50 plus. I have a low 50 insert expletive. Uh -huh. You haven't even set up and played. You were just kidding earlier. We all know you were bullshitting. No. <laughs> to clarify that for, I think, I don't know if Big John and Micro were in here. Um, I told Abiko that since he's got five days off, he should, you know, really give WoW a try and purchase the game and play on retail where, you know, all of us experienced people can make it easy for him. Mm -hmm. And he said okay in his delirium. Okay. Again. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, said it again. Well, I was able to get up and get some cranberry juice, but I'm missing a, a, a half gallon of cranberry juice. I, I know I bought two. two. So where's the other one? So freezer. Scared. Freezer. That makes does, sense. Does your ass feel sore? Oh shit! Is that where I went? Did you put it in your prison pocket? <laughs> yes, I did. I wanted uh, to see, warm it up. I, I hate when that happens. Ew! Warm cranberry juice. That's just gross. It's like warm prune juice. Oh man. Okay, oh, now in disgusting nurse's delirium because I'm tired. Um, do you think prune juice works better if you put it in from the other end? Huh. I wonder. I mean, you drink it and it, like, pushes things through. Do you think if you're really blocked and you put it in from the other end, it'll, like, fix that problem? Yeah, it should be like a semi-flush flush toilet. <laughs> Actually, I believe you'd wind up yeah, I think you'd wind up with the with like the whiskey squirts. Yeah. <laughs> I was mortified when I was in the doctor's office and they came back. Yeah, positive COVID. What? <laughs> Dude, when you messaged me and said you had a fever of over a hundred, I was like, you got COVID. Go get tested. You need to go get tested. And I did. I got tested fucking what? Five hours later. Well, this is what a is going to be doing in the next five days. I didn't want to leave work until I knew. <laughs> I didn't want to leave work until I knew that um that they had coverage for my area. I didn't they... want to leave work until I knew that I had infected all of my coworkers so I could shut down craft. I was wearing a mask. I was mindful of what I touched. I used a lot of hand sanitizer. What are you doing? I'm drinking. What are you doing? No, I mean, I hear you're like, oh, kind of I'm, Charlie how Brown about you? Huh? I hear like a Charlie Brown video or something. I'm just having a good time. Oh. I'm, I am like severely tired. But the dog is gone. Uh. So I'm kind of loopy and kind of tired and kind of sarcastic and 
Did you seriously? Did you, did you seriously get rid of the dog? Yes. Wow. I like I said, I the dog only came here as supposed to be a three day to a week stay, and it has turned into almost two months. It's a social dog. It is barking because it hears people out there, whether it be knocking on the door or whatever, and it's going nuts, wanting social. I work overnights, so my awake time is usually in the evening. It's been screwing with my sleep schedule horribly because I can't sleep during the day. The only time, I hate to say it, the only time the dog is ever quiet for long enough for me to get any more than two to three hours worth of sleep is my days off on an o when I can sleep at night when there's no activity going on in the hotel. So I reached out to the local animal shelter here and I spoke with them and they said, well, before you, we just take it in because, you know, they just take it in and don't know that they can get it to one of the no kill shelters for small dogs you know, he, it really did risk his life. So I spoke with them yesterday and they gave me a call this afternoon that they had got placement with a small dog rescue in the northern part of Illinois. So he's basically where he's an older dog. He's going to be going up and he is going to eventually become a companion to an elderly person to help them call, combat depression and keep them up mobile, taking care of an animal. So... You know, he's not just going to a home where somebody's going to want him as a small dog. He's going to a home where he's going to have, you know, an important Power job. Come on, old yeller. It's time to go for that walk. No, I wasn't doing the old yeller walk with him. <laughs> Take care of I'm, I didn't want him, but I wasn't going to be mean. I found the other juice it was right in front of me. <laughs> And it's like I said, you know, I grew up, I, I literally, I grew up on a dairy farm. And to me, I guess, and the only way to put it is, is small dogs are accessories. A dog is supposed to be, you know, either something that's guarding or something that's hurting or something along those lines to me, a working animal. I've always said that. I got a lot of hate from people with toy dogs. I like the well, I always, the yeah, the only reason why it lives is because we keep it alive. Yep, it will eat, get eaten by bigger dogs. But that's oh, most of them and can't live out on the like, wild on their own. Nope. But I don't like small dogs because they're kind of emotionally needy, and I don't want an animal that's emotionally needy. It competes with me, and you know. I've got your back. Let I'm kidding, but no. Down. He needed to go somewhere, and he needed to go somewhere where some with somebody that likes to go outside during the day and take him out to visit and everything like that. Whereas I'm sleeping during the day. I need a target. I'm on Craft's website. They're doing pre-orders now for that dragon expansion. Oh, we've already got yep, it. Yep. Right, um, Al, I was going to say Alfredo, Big John, and I already have a Dragon Flight pre-ordered, and that's what we're um, basically leveling and playing around with, trying to catch up to using this extra XP that they just gave us starting today to um, get some more characters up so that when the new expansion comes out, we can start playing in that. Something big is coming this way. Then we slay it together for the horde. Sword art armor. Is it a horde? Peter. Beta Death Peter. He's a Peter. Hey, have anyone watched Overlord? That cartoon? Or something? Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's pretty good. How many for Chainsaw Man to come out soon? <laughs> I don't normally watch stuff because I have, you know, problems staring at just watching something. I have to have something else to do while I'm doing it. But I have to 
Oh, so I'm just gonna have to keep at me to watch these damn videos so that I can learn how to tank the new raids and these dungeons that are gonna be coming out. <laughs> Let's make ourselves scarce, shall we? Okay, so I guess I'm gonna decide using whatever professions I've got here. So what do you guys think would be the next most important? Because I've got the enchanter up to 60, which means I can work on the new enchantments that'll be coming out. I've got an inscriptionist, so there's glyphs and all that. Would you rather see a alchemist for potions? And then what else is there? Tailoring, leather working. Can, uh, can I can so I guess Lord will be victorious. I can we are, so are you serious? I'll I'll ask outright, Abiko. Are you serious about actually, you know, purchasing and coming to play and join us? I'm actually three feet from my computer, so yeah, I'm actually getting closer. <laughs> I just gotta get it open and turn it on. Okay, because um, we'll I'm pretty sure between Alfredo, Big John, and I, we would be more than happy to explain all the nuances of this game. Um, oh. right Come now, on, guys. I, we can't get a raid group. Let's just put, I, let me be blunt. We can't get a raid group going if we're not willing to talk to players and teach them how to play. Oh, okay. I'm always only, willing to I talk only, to people and teach them how to um, play. I only know about DPS. That's it. Well, you know DPS, John knows heals, and I know tanking. So, we already know that I'm going to be main tank. Oh, oh yeah, we already know that. Hold I on. want to do uh, intimidating shout. How do I do that? Barbarian intimidating. Hold on, Nico. You, what do you mean, how do I do that? I'm just tank. That's how I know that. Holy shit, I'm actually sitting up. Wow. 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 Sure, is there going to be any dragons in the uh, newest expansion? Yeah. There is You're, dragons. Yes, there are. There's going to be a new flight. Um, there's going to be a new flight. Um, a, a new way of flying. There's going to be aerial battles. There are going to be dragon kins. So half human, half dragon um, for race to play. There is all sorts of stuff with this. I cannot reach. So I guess my question is, should I level a gem crafter or should I level an alchemist? Oh, this is not gem. good. I'm gonna die. Why are you gonna... Where are you? Oh... Fight my boss. Yep, I died. We gotta watch the guild, guys. We need to take a time out and watch several episodes of the guild. Um, I already seen it. Well, watch I it again. Every oh season times ten. We all agree. I'm Vork, right? You're gonna Vork. Oh, I am. You're gonna Vork. <laughs> Are you? Are you? Uh, are you uh, I know who you are, trying to go. Uh, the, the the warlock. That nerd? No, that's you. Mm -hmm. You got him. Uh, nope, I'm not the warlock. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm like more. Um, I'm more between. Um, the fat chick, or the rogue. <laughs> the fat chick. <laughs> and of course, um, Felicia Day is our our lovely Jennifer. <laughs> See no arguments there. They're like, yep, yep, yep. So seriously, do we want me to level a gem crafter next or an alchemist? It's just a dependent on am I gonna do a warlock or a monk? Does a monk use uh, potions? Uh, my monk is my alchemist, yes. Yeah. So don't you have another character? Don't you have another character that she's good to choose a professional? My account is full. I have 50 characters. So you don't have a free character to have a, a profession? 
No, I have high level professions on all of my characters. So I have an enchanter or killer. I have an inscriptionist. I have a alchemist. I have a gunfaster. I have a leather worker. I have a killer. I have a blacksmith. I have them all. How do you have to bring, bring black into this, huh? What's, what's, what's the deal, huh? 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 Like plate wearers, that's what the deal is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, Mr. Dave. Good evening. How you doing? Hey, Mr. Dave. Mr. Dave. I was so happy about the XP boost going on right now. I know. I, I, know. I just had to fine. six minute my hunter. Yeah, um, yeah. right right now we're all. Like can't beat this guy. How about that? Like a whole bunch of that. I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to figure out how to set the push to talk because it's kind of getting a little overwhelming here, guys. What? I'm not making any noise. I always push to talk. Yeah. Time is money, friend. Are you guys actually hearing me breathe? No. But if you start choking to death, I'm pretty sure we'll hear that. Right. And I was actually going to be a decent friend, and I was actually kind of worried because, you know, you'd been offline for a while, and you know I know COVID has people tired. I was going to, where I know you live alone, I was going to give you a call and check on you here shortly. Thank you. Only because yeah. I live alone, and I would hope if I said, told my friends that I had COVID that somebody would fucking call and check on me. Would you believe the people in the supermarket when I told them I had COVID so that they use hand sanitizer? They're like, what are you doing out? I'm like, I live alone. I have no one to get groceries from. That's, you know, not, entirely true. That's not entirely true because you can make a walmart.com order and somebody like me who does park deliveries will deliver it to your home and set it outside your door, ring your doorbell or knock on your door and your groceries still get there without you being anywhere near anyone. Hey. If you if you show up at my door delivering groceries, you're coming in for a little talk. <laughs> uh, don't you wish? That's not, that's not don't one. you wish? Spark doesn't pay me enough for that. What am I saying? That's COVID. We gotta wait. Mm. Oh, so, Warlock, or Monk. Wait, isn't the Monk a tank? Yes. Yeah, you gotta run away when you see him stand up. Are you okay there, Abiko? I started coughing, I didn't wanna... How do I shut up push to talk again? Uh, oh god, I feel bad. Okay. Um, are you on the computer or on your phone? Oh, I told you, the computer is now two feet away and it looks like a mile away. Okay, let me bring that up on my phone so I can give you the correct information. Okay. Uh. You got this, PJ. Just remember, when he stands up, run away. I'm actually standing up. <laughs> Progress. Woohoo, I'm moving. I'm moving one one half mile on up. So, on your phone down at the bottom, when you swipe it to the so that you see the list of server rooms and things like that, and who's in Voyager, you'll have a group of icons along the bottom, which start with like a little Discord controller symbol. And then it's got the friends, the search, the alerts, and then it'll have your um, Discord picture. Okay. 
If you click on the Discord picture and scroll down under app settings, you'll see voice. You'll be able to set a push to talk there. Hey, can I do some whining about what happened to work today? What happened at work? What happened at work is some idiot went in and refused to leave, even though it was a pretty good chance that he had COVID. Yep, I know the guy. He's kind of handsome, but stupid. <laughs> okay, here we go. I go to my boss. I'm like, listen, I need help in the in the trash inedible area. I can't do all that cardboard and trash dumping, especially as, as sick as I feel. And he gave me a hard time. I'm like, well, if you feel sick, I need to send you home. I'm like, are you crazy? And you're already short people. Now you're going to go down one more man? I'll, I'll wear a mask and I'll stay away from people. And I just Absolutely. ask you. Oh, let's get for help. Absolutely, because with COVID, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one. I, I didn't mind going home. I want to make sure I had to beg for someone to come into that area and help, help fill, help help the um, help the other guy working that way. We 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 clean these giant Tupperware bowls. They're like huge vats. I looked like a giant Tupperware bowl. You know, it must hold like four hundred pounds of meat. So I I, I want to make sure he had help. So I, I stayed as long as I could. I did as much work as I could manage, as keeping myself propped up. Then finally, um, after after much complaining and screaming and begging, someone actually he actually he actually got someone to come into the area and help out. You know, but the okay. but the main boss, the main boss now, wanted to be a dude. I had I had to get another boss. To get Abiko, the reason I keep pointing all this out is because I'm going to be rude and say it. I'm a fucking nurse. I watch people I die. A bunch of people in body bags. And what you did is dangerous to other people who may not have as hearty a constitution as what you currently have. Well, you think I have a hearty constitution? No, he should have sent you home. You should not have objected. I know, I know. I, I'm I did telling you right now, you were in the wrong there. I know, but he still gave me a problem just trying to get me help. That was stupid. Because he, he should... didn't need help. He needed I mean, to leave, and he could have dealt with it at that point in time. I had to do like another. I had to do, like another, had to do another supervisor, one level higher. A new phrase. Help. Are you ready? I'm going to teach you a new phrase. Not my monkey. Not my circus. So, do I look like a monkey fucking a coconut? No. Oh. But what I'm saying is, is the monkey that's in charge of whatever section you're talking about, <laughs> it's not you. It's uh, not your monkey. It's not your circus. That's on that. You're sick. Go home. Make sure other people aren't sick. Would you believe I've been I've been standing up and walking around for the last ten minutes? This is great. This. You guys, you guys, are, you guys are definitely encouraging me. Thank you. Get up. Get that computer going. Would you believe I need to get out of this freaking place because I hate fucking cockroaches? Ah, uh, soon, soon, Jim, soon. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you straight. You got it's good like friends. Got me, you got me. You got micro. Last night I was sitting here playing, and one just like I felt something on my foot. I thought it was a cat's whiskers. No, it was a fucking cockroach ca crawled on my foot. And just a second ago here, a cockroach just went running across my fucking desk, running wow. across the keyboard. I'm like, this wow. is fucking ridiculous. I have twelve roach motels in one room, three egg killer. It's because everybody around me is, they've got roaches, so. Yeah, they're bringing in their bags. I know, I know, I know all about it. Hey, um, did you try boric acid? I have ah, been. Uh, I don't know if I tried boric acid. acid. Yeah, have you tried boric acid, John? It's insane. Well, I wouldn't try boric acid because she's got cats. <laughs> Really? Oh, okay. They told me that. Yeah. Boric acid doesn't care what it is. Boric acid kills everything. Yeah. Would you believe I just sat into the fucking toilet bowl without the lid down? The better. Ah! Stroke. Stroke. But no, it's it's getting bad. It doesn't. It's like I just put these roach motels, the baits out, and the egg killers and everything like this less than 30 days ago, and they're supposed to go three months. They work for about two weeks. There have been, because um, I've made friends with people at the front desk, um, and not the one that walks the dog for me, but other ones, they've told me that people have checked in the motel and checked out and demanded their money back because of the fact that 
it's just that bad. They're like the whole building needs to be tented, but they can't do it because it would have to shut down. It would be such a catastrophic loss of revenue to shut the building down. But the whole building needs tenting. It's that bad. But yeah, that's why I've kind of gotten to the point of I've just got to get out of here. I mean, if these are the way, if you're, if supposedly you see, you know, there's 10 times as many roaches as what you see, that makes me sick to my stomach because of how many I do see on a daily basis. Yeah, multiply I've got ten. everything. I've got all of my food in freaking plastic Ziploc bags or plastic containers and still. They even go inside the refrigerator. I bought the cold. Keep yes, up. I have found them. I have caught them in my refrigerator. I have caught them in my microwave. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm like, that's why I'm. Turned on the I'm microwave. Like, it I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. This is yeah, the microwave. You know, they walk through the microwave and then radiation. I can deal with the drug addicts overdosing in the hallway. I can deal with the fighting. Oh, thank you for following. Thank I can deal following. with all of this other stuff. But I can't deal with the bugs. The bugs. To me, bugs, bed bugs, and roaches are just that's that tells me it's not clean. I know. I, I'm just amazed that the microwave doesn't kill their ass. You see them in there, turn on the microwave, and they just walking on through. Like, what? That, I know. That was, that was the. That was why I was like, I did not know that. Because. You're welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. The, is, the issue is, is, is them not in the microwave. Is that they're in the microwave eating the wiring? No, I'm talking about in the in the in the heating area in the in the, no. in the radiation zone. They, they it doesn't affect. Them. Yeah, what Abiko was saying the other day, I literally looked in for a way, waiting for my food to get done, and watched a cockroach crawl across while the microwave was going and had been going for about three minutes. And they, they just seemed my freaking TV dinner seal. It was still sealed shut, but still, it was like I threw the TV dinner out because all I could think of it, and yeah, no. Yeah, it just, because it just kind of you do realize, of course. Off. In a nuclear in a nuclear war, about the only thing that will live through it is cockroaches. cockroaches. And, and no, it's one thing between being told that, that in school and actually seeing one crawl in the microwave while it's running, knowing that's nuclear in there. Uh, I'm ready to wave. I'm ready. I'm. Whew. All right. Let's get up. Make myself something. I need to make some soup. Thank you. How, how's your day going? How often do I stream? I normally stream about every day. From about 6 central till about 8 at least. Technically, you usually do Monday through Friday. You don't usually stream on the weekends. Yeah. You know, I once posted a link what on the, the, the TV I show. I play I uh, City of Heroes. I play Subnautica. I play. I've played Lawn Mowing Simulator. I think on my birthday, I'm going to play Lawn Mowing Simulator. Just because. That's like a really peaceful, really chill game. Is that song, I'm Unstoppable? Something, is that kid there? Um. 
I'm not sure what that was because it's gone on to the next one, but what's currently playing on my playlist that you can vaguely hear in the background is I'm an Asshole by Dennis Leary. Nice. <laughs> I've been up for like 20 minutes. This is awesome. Probably the longest I've been up all day. What's over there? Um, just remember, don't push yourself too much, as weird as that may sound. I'm trying. Use, I'm trying. Days, use those days to rest. You're going to need them. Yes, ma'am. Hey, what server are we on? If we are on Alliance, you're on Illumin. If we are on Horde, it's Gilneas. Gilneas. That's what I was thinking of. You know, I, I didn't want to tell Raven. I don't want her worrying about me, so I'm keeping this secret for my daughter. That's a bad okay. idea. Dude, call your daughter and tell her. Bad, bad idea. No. No, it's not. Let me turn it around. Raven's got COVID and she doesn't call you until you. I hope it'll be for the same reason. She doesn't want me to work. Yeah. But are, how mad are you going to be afterwards? She could have died and she didn't say anything. Oh, if I'm on my deathbed, I'd really be mad. I, I would muster that phone call, okay? No, I had a problem. Uh, well, we let me tell you a little secret about COVID. Um, sure. If you go to that point to where you're on your deathbed, guess what you won't yep. be able to do? Make a phone call. You won't be able to call. Because you won't be able to breathe. Dan, so, you need to call yeah. her. To let her know you have COVID. You need to know. let her know how you are feeling. You need to let her worry. She's an adult. I know. She's 25. I know. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to be such a whiny, whiny, whiny guy. I'm sorry. You have COVID. We understand. COVID sucks. This shit is new. What's that? Do I mostly no play on? Mostly play on Horde. Huh. A Biko and the brain, brain, brain. Hey, did anyone ever look at that? Um. That anime, that a Project Echo, where, where I got my inspiration for my name. No, you, you never sent me a link to that. I, I put it in like funny videos or something like one, one long time ago. It was only a quick little clip. It should be enough to get you, get you interested in it. Okay, well that doesn't give me a link to the anime to watch it. Oh, do you know that her father is Superman and her mother is Wonder Woman? Uh, mm -hmm. Now, freaking awesome. Now I can talk without interrupting them. So yeah, um, I'm a graphic designer and I can help you with that. Oh, cool. Can I send you a package of these? Oops. My request complete. I have had. Um, I have. A, I used to have a friend of mine that made designs, and she it's made me. Call it yoga. Uh, no, no. He made me yes. this one. Can I send per some of these? No, no, you cannot because Naladon already got me with those. What fake cockroaches? Yes. Did you? You guys don't remember that when I was living there. I came home from work one day. I've been working. It was probably my fifth, twelve, twelve-hour shift in a row. And I came home and I was, I got into my pajamas and I went to crawl into bed and I looked at the couch that was my bed and there was a cockroach on my bed that was about an inch and a half to two inches long and it was sitting there. And it was realistic looking enough that I wasn't sure is this fake, is this real or is this Memorex? Ooh. So I literally got a gallon size Ziploc bag and inverted it and put it over my hand so that I could go in and squat this cockroach that was in my on my bed that was a couch and get it in there. Now, 
enough time that I swung at it to get it into the Ziploc bag, you know, and then, you know, I uninverted and everything like that. So I was pretty sure that the damn thing was a fake cockroach, but because it's antennae were not twitching or moving. Um, if you type an exclamation point Discord. So that was my first clue. It will, uh... But I got it in the bag and it didn't move when I, you know, slammed my hand down over it and squeezed it and it was like trying to get the bag redone and closed. That'll, and zip that'll get you the uh, Discord tag. Or at least my Discord tag. But even though it hadn't moved or twitched or anything, I still threw that Ziploc bag Disney. down on the floor and I danced yeah. the Macarena on that fucking thing. <laughs> because if by any chance it was a really smart roach that was trying to fuck with me, it was dying. Hmm. So now, once I realized it wasn't a real roach, I took it in and set it on Namadon's computer desk inside its Ziploc bag. Because, you know, just in case. And I pointed out to him that, you know, that would have been a better joke if he had put it on my bed during a day that he'd be home to be able to hear me shrieking bloody murder when I found it. Yeah, but you know, yeah, but you know, know. sometimes it's just, uh, it's, it's just knowing that you got it. Trust me. I killed that roach about 12 times over, and it was still in one piece, therefore I knew it had to be big. <laughs> I threw it down on a con and I just tap danced on that freaking thing. I was like, if it's real, it's dying. If it's real, it's dying. <laughs> I'll add you after the stream's over so that it doesn't That's the one I missed. Sure, right. it doesn't reset my freaking PVT talents, but it resets everything else. Inferno! Me smash good! Oh, can you hear me? Aww. Uh, Pico, we <laughs> lost him. I think COVID got him. <laughs> 